Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now in the last few tutorials we were showing like uh, how to do how to how to make bullets, what are the different symbols and characters available in LaTeX and all. Okay, today what we are going to do is that we let's go let's go into something very deep and productive. In sense, let's start writing something and uh, we'll uh, we'll see uh, some information re re relevant to that okay okay today what we're going to do is that we're going to talk about document sections now what exactly what do you mean by document sections it's like every document you have has some title subtitle uh, some section super section and everything okay we're going to talk about that okay and along with that we're going to see how to write some simple mathematical comments uh, in in LaTeX okay to start to start with let's write let's write something uh, hello okay hello everyone uh, LaTeX was made or created by uh, Leslie Lamport okay now if you compile this you just you'll get a line like you'll get a line like this now if the thing is we need let's uh, just just let's write something very big a uh, big paragraph like so that we have a lot of contents in it i'm just randomly typing some stuff over here so you don't worry about that man I always wanted to type this fast, but <laughs> with that with making sense, but I I don't think it is possible. Hmm. Even capitals came out fine. Okay, some random some random garbage. Okay, now it looks like a paragraph. Okay, now just note this out. If you look at if you look at this paragraph okay uh, though there are a lot of written contents over here uh, okay uh, this paragraph has a small indentation of a small tabbing over here indicating that this is a paragraph okay now what I do is that I gave two I, I gave two uh, if I start writing something in the next line okay uh, to make sense let me write something easy to follow okay I am using tech maker for writing this document okay now if we run this watch though I said it's an it's, I gave a mentor stating that it's an next line but still if you look at this part it's still uh, in the same it's still in the same line it does not go to the next paragraph okay why is it so it's because uh, LaTeX is actually case in, is actually white space insensitive okay uh, you see all this part over here we ha just have so much space over here yet these spaces did not feature over here so what I do instead watch this out I instead between I, what I do is that from between using the word using and tech maker let me give about so many spaces okay I give about so many spaces here save this and I run this up see the space does not get reflected that is because uh, what I told us today what I told just now uh, LaTeX is actually case insensitive, I mean space insensitive, white space insensitive. So what you have to do, even if you press uh, enter, it just stays in the same paragraph. Okay, if you want to go to the next paragraph, what you have to do is that type an en type two enters, and then if you write, start writing some stuff. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. I save this up and I run this you see this part uh, comes in the, the you see this part now it's in the second paragraph this uh, entire stuff okay if you want something little more easy I I am in the second 
paragraph okay I am in the second paragraph you press run it there you have it it's in the second paragraph okay now this is something called as uh, hard and soft return mechanisms uh, available see when I gave an uh, see initially I, I wrote the contents like this okay initially I wrote the contents like this the I am using the sentence I am using tech maker and everything is in the same line okay not a problem and if and execute this it just says stays there okay I save this uh, sorry uh, build this up and it stays there so when I press enter it goes to the next line remember all of this stuff is actually in the 15th line over here okay for you guys to look at it's in the 15th line whereas this line is actually in the 16th line over here this and this sentence after giving enter so this is called as soft enter soft enter just convert takes the all the contents to the next line in the script and nothing more and pretty much that's it it does not do anything to put the sense put the lines in the next line put the contents in the next line in the document and uh, whereas if you want them in the next paragraph or something you have to give two enters okay to you have to give return statement twice thereby leaving a blank line over here and this is called as hard return or hard enter now if I, now you think that okay now this pa this uh, paragraph and this pa this is second paragraph this is the first paragraph fine but I just want a space here so if I like if I think like okay that if uh, I think I have to you might think that okay I just have to give uh, two more hard returns and it will be fine so you anticipate that there should be a s one line over here a space over here between these two paragraphs but it won't be check it out you're like okay I gave it has two hard, en hard enters but hard returns but there wasn't any why is it so it's because it's because of the same problem we faced over here white space insensitivity as a co as a consequence of that okay uh, one, only one soft return is taken as a con taken as a factor and everything else is taken the, I mean hard or soft return only one is taken as an incident inc instance and everything else is just ignored so uh, so this is something you have to keep in mind on the other hand if you want to have two lines okay what you need is that you need uh, you need two backslashes like this and this should work um, sorry I think what you do is that put two backslashes here slashes here okay and run this there you have it the thing is the backslashes should be at the end of a statement at the end of a statement so if you put them up in the end of in the end of a statement like this uh, this backslash will take you to the next line take you to the next line okay and uh, this uh, return statement this hard return okay takes you to the next paragraph by leaving a line like this puts the next paragraph so what if okay I write like this okay I gave two backslashes and then I write my contents like this if you look at it look at it you see this but two backslashes takes the contents to the next line and that's it then that is it and it does not distinguish the paragraph you don't get that you don't get the indent okay what if I give an enter watch same factor it's just it's just that all the contents are taken to the next line and we just hit in a soft enter soft return so if I press another enter over here now there is a line over here now if I run this up yes now we have a paragraph now this is an indication of a paragraph okay that's about uh, uh, hard returns and soft returns and paragraphs okay now whatever you do type all the contents you want okay I'm okay forgive me for my uh, 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 rubbish writings over here just just wanted to prove it, you, tell you something that's the reason okay uh, on the other hand let me just do one thing just me copy all this so that I you know you just have enough content to visualize all this okay now if I were uh, to compare this up there you have it you have like multiple paragraphs ready 
ready because of the soft return and all of them have an indentation adjusted accordingly okay like adjusted accordingly now if if i were to take these come take these lines up uh, take these lines up and i were to build compile this there you have it that paragraph becomes another becomes just a they just have they just lie very close to each other without any uh, spacing without any spacing now if i run this it's back the spacing is back and the tech maker what it does is that it has a nice feature it just indicates in which line the which line the correction has been made or adjustments has been made okay not bad not bad huh now let's do something interesting now we now with this skip now with this feature and by adding all this stuff now we are in a position to write lot and lot of contents okay now my question question here is now how do we divide this into document sections simple okay to make sure that in the document has a lot of sections in it it's easy first you are i mean you have to write the section and size section name okay to write a section type backslash and then write section and in the in the empty sp empty parenthesis you write the section name uh, para1 now if i compile this and run this there you have it you get uh, you get the title para1 and you see this is automatically numbered this is automatically numbered similarly uh, th this way this becomes one section okay and now watch if i were to change this up let me implement this everywhere okay and uh, so this is para4 okay and this is para5 okay now if i run this up all of the all of these there you have it you have five you have a, each paragraph has its own section it's actually a part of a section now the thing is uh, the thing to be noticed here is that let uh, suppose if these were just some ra uh, large number of contents okay now what I have here is that I just have a huge number of contents repeated again and again. Okay. See, oh, oh. <laughs> I I think I should give an end spacing over here so that you guys it becomes really easy to see the paragraphs. Okay. Okay. I guess now you'll be in a position to see what's going on. Yeah, fine. Now if I were to fill this up, and there you have it. Now this ent Okay, now let me just uh, fit this page in. Okay, don't worry about this extra ex extra extensions, is because we just typed so much words. It just it just uh, a problem that don't worry about it and if you see now this entire thing is actually a full section okay now suppose if we want some subsections in it okay uh, some other another line another level of sectioning it's easy what you have to do is that uh, use this command backslash sub sub subsection and then type para para one two like this nothing doesn't matter and if you compile this there you have it you have a subsection and to indicate that this is a subsection the numbering has uh, expanded expanded much so it's 1.1 so indicating that this is the first subsection under the main section one similarly if we just uh, go to para 3 somewhere over here and then we type okay and then uh, we compile this part okay we have a large number of paragraphs over here now what i do uh, i put uh, subsection subsection uh, say 
para 3 slash 1 okay if you run this up there you have it it's now this is named this subsection is named as 3 number as 3.1 meaning it's the first subsection in parat in uh, section 3 like that similarly if you want to have a sub subsection it's possible mean another level of subse subsection is possible so what do you for that what you have to do is that you just have to type sub uh, sub section and then inside para 3 is to 1 is 1 is to 1 something like that if we just number we're just numbering randomly okay and this is how you have it this is how you have it uh, it's numbered as 3 3.1.1 meaning is the first sub sub section in the first subsection of section 3 that is how the numbering goes by okay now with this our, our with this what you can do is that uh, uh, you have a big document ready now if you were to write your own story or write a book or make notes or write a report or everything now with this in this in this methodology you can make all your sections and subsections available in the document now one simple thing is that now you have done all this let's say i just want to have a table of contents at the beginning table of contents at the beginning so what i can do is that uh, let me try uh, to make a table of contents you don't have to do anything just type table of contents backslash table of contents okay since all these paragraphs are numbered run this once okay now this contents line has come this content line has come okay uh, but nothing because it takes to it takes two so two times the execution takes twice for the contents page to update so in the first run what we'll do is that the doc the compiler latter compiler will just go through the entire document and collect all the places where sections or subsections where tables figures and everything has been included and it'll, ke and it'll keep a separate document called in uh, you know, a table of contents document called uh, with an extension talk toc okay and now if you compile this for the second time and there you have it let me zoom this up for you guys and there you have it you have a nice table of content here a nice table of content here indicating all the sections you have and everything so just i mean this is just a very dumb uh, document we have because we just wrote some cr random random crap over here honestly that sorry for excuse the expression but that's what we did we just wrote a lot of random stuff over here okay and uh, we were able to generate a nice little para nice little pay table of contents okay now if you were to now if you guys were to write your own set of documents or say write a report or something of that sort then this will be very int this will turn out to be nice okay and if you guys want to write write in a new page or you want to write, have a page break what you have to do is that just type new page this command new page okay so if you run this there you have it what what happened is that after writing table of contents this new page command pushes everything to a new page and as a consequence you have table of contents alone stay title in your table of contents alone stay in the first page whereas everything else is pushed to the next page next page okay okay now that's that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial uh, hope we we did see a lot of doc we, we did see some nuances of uh, documents the doc i mean document sections uh, hard returns soft returns and everything okay uh, so hope you guys under hope you guys learn something new today okay thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial we'll get into the act we'll get into the most important part of latex which is nothing which is guess guess what it is if you guessed it right the mathematical mathematical modes the math, math, math mathematical mode wherein we'll be writing our formulas and everything uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time